for me too, I went through a really bad dip, very bad dip. And the difference between me and someone else who would have gone through my dip was I had a t one or two or three confidence. So I would release. It's not, you don't need to tell the whole world what's going on. But you need to, for me, I find that when I share, I get to release and I feel like I'm not bearing the burden alone and it doesn't feel so heavy. And you're confident, if you're confident in someone who's really close and really cool with you, they're your person. So they will, they will carry it with you. So it doesn't feel so heavy after you share. What is the question again? We were, we were just talking about coping and healthy and unhealthy and how everyone's feeling. Um, me, I think uh, when I'm literally down, uh, what I actually do is just sit by myself. Sometimes uh, there's so many memes nowadays, um, and both of I think we are literally on groups that usually post memes. So what I actually do is just go on those groups, just look at memes, laugh, 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 and sometimes I find myself getting better just from just looking at something funny, laugh, and then. Yeah, here, Maya. Is it for a short time, or does that be being alone for long periods of time? Uh, I think I should take like a very long time being alone. Like uh, in uh, April, I was literally alone for a whole month. Just yeah. yeah, I was really down to heart, you know, just sit by myself a whole month. But did you feel better afterwards? Uh, yeah, I did. I, I did. It worked. Uh, for me, it actually works. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So for some people, it works. Yeah. For some people, it's not good. Solitude, especially if you're getting um, very intrusive thoughts about life about not wanting to live, it's important you have to talk to someone. Because solitude when you're going through stuff is not good. Like you get those whispers, you know, you feel worthless, you start to, like, you know, feeling like you don't want to exist. It's so important for you to share those feelings with someone you really like care about. Don't sit with those feelings for too long. You see for him, it worked for him. Maybe he just needed to release his anger and calm down, but it doesn't work for everyone. So if you're having intrusive thoughts, you have to tell someone. I've always had a very big group of friends. But as I've grown older, they've just shrunk and shrunk. And one of the things, because I suffer from depression and anxiety, and uh, one of the things that I used to find is that some of my friends don't understand. You know, when I call them, it's either they are speaking back at me, telling me what I need to do, and they're not hearing me. Or they're rather, they're not listening to what I'm saying. So one of the things that I learned from Aisha actually is that not everyone, it can even be your mom, it can even be your husband, it can be whoever it is. But we all know, you see there are times, how will I explain? There, there are those friends that you have. You know this one is for say the man, <laughs> this one is for this, this one is for that. And then there's usually that one friend, when you sit down, even the conversation is quality conversation. Okay, I'm going to be here with you, I'm going to to tell the story like sila zimu mwambie uko naishida lakini utapata like after your story utapata like uko sana some people have that tendency of maybe it remove the focus on them mm. and they can live in a little perfect bubble and then you're the only one who's going through this and yeah. so it, it doesn't mean that they're not going through it it just means that maybe they're not ready to address mm. but but i have this question mm -hmm among us all of us here who has that one friend who's ever been you know from i usually say um from good bad or ugly who 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 has that friend who has done what <laughs> who, has been who takes the good the bad and the ugly oh me i she's right here. <laughs> no 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 you i should, don't believe you should, it. No, no. you should do what you call no 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 i don't believe it Honestly, I don't like know literally. No, just said you don't take the bad and the ugly. Yeah. 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 Aisha, yeah. Aisha, just you. You have a friend who, uh, let's say, uh, me and Marcy, right? We, we had some issues, and then what's your name? Bob. 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 Yeah. And then Bob is also our friend, huh? So, but now I have a problem with Marcy, and then I come and tell you, you know what? Marcy did this to me, blah blah blah. And then they literally tell you straight. Dude, just uh, go uh, square things with Marcy, see how these things, this thing work. 
that is not where I came from. Do like ah Marcia na kuaga na yujinga do ni Yeah. Literally. But that's what mostly happens. Who has that friend who doesn't tell them ah Marcia na kuaga na yujinga but they just don't go. tell you. It's either you have a good friend or you don't have a good friend. Yeah. Mm. The good friends will take everything and they will tell you honey you're falling a bag. No, no, good. That that is good now. Who has that friend? That we have. We have. Oh. Have friend oh no. No. <laughs> okay, uh, Liz. Actually, what he's saying is, well, well, we have to admit first that even though they are good friends, they probably will notice the negative things about you and will say them once in a while. You but have to realize that. But your friend has to tell you when you're falling. If no. your friend can tell you you're falling, no, they'll tell you. No. Who? Tell you. Which They're friend is friend. That, that? Me, I have. Do you want me to introduce you to my friends? <laughs> Like, you can be my friend's friends. <laughs> the three of us can easily make friends, or somehow we just met trustworthy friends. And for you, you haven't gotten there. So it's not a reflection of who you are, uh, probably not even a reflection of the people around you, but it's just that probably there's a certain journey that you're supposed to be walking probably right now without friends. And then as you continue in life, then new people will come in, or even you'll find older people will come in. So it doesn't have to be standard for everyone. You can make friendships at different times. I mean, okay, I was going to say. I am in my 30s, and I can bet you anything. The friends I had in my 20s, I still have some of them now, but 80% of them are no longer there. The type of friends that you have, and I think that's also really good, because uh, we need to be, what I've found working for me is, uh, and something that I'm still learning, is to be intentional with your friends and know who f which friend you can go to for what. Like he has one that makes him laugh, he has ones that encourage him and uh, one that advises him. So I think we also need to be very pers perceptive when you're choosing friends and know that uh, I'm not just here for the sake of mingling, but uh, there's this person that I know and I can trust with this. There's this, this other person, he's my friend, but I, his mouth never shuts. So I cannot tell him something that is personal. So he's good when it comes to laughing and telling jokes, and that's okay. There's another one who is good in encouraging me maybe to pursue my dreams. There's another one that I can go to for financial support. So uh, there's uh, this uh, uh, young millionaire, I think Eugene someone, I don't remember his other name. And there's a feature that uh, was aired, he's one uh, of the people who made it to the Forbes 30 and the 30. And he said something very important, that uh, if you're in a circle with friends and you can't find uh, people to either give you a loan or uh, to encourage you when you're starting your business, mm -hmm. then you need to really question yourself, who are these people around you? Boom! So, <laughs> That's it! Mm -hmm. so, uh, because he mostly attributes his success to the friends, because he's not coming from a wealthy family. It's only the people around him that encouraged him, gave him loans when he was starting out. So I think we also need to go into that space, we bring the mental health the awareness and uh, choose people intentionally when you're, when you're mingling and when you're putting yourself out there. You know this person can't keep quiet. Don't share certain things, but this person is there for you. Um, you know this person maybe behaves a certain way when they're around other people or when they drink. Doesn't mean that they're bad people. We can't just cancel people just because they're not doing what we want. It's so selfish. We are living in a world that is becoming so narcissist as we go. Yeah. And I promise you, we're going to look back maybe two, three years from now and we'll realize it's all about me. Everyone's mm. going to be me, me, me. You have to start looking at people differently. You have to be able to have boundaries. This is how I want my life to be. This is, you know, you have to be able to pick and choose people and not let them in your life so quickly because you assume everyone is good. Not everyone is good. <laughs> That's the reality of the world. Uh, one thing I like about Liz earlier, when she was telling you guys about what you need to do, she wasn't sugarcoating anything to you. She was telling you this is what you need, this is what, because the world is ruthless. Mm -hmm. And that's why you have to put yourself first, even in this situation. How, the world how, how do you no put yourself to, first? How do you put yourself first? You don't put yourself first by, your by, being, by being bad or by doing the same things, first of all, that happened to you. That's number one. You put yourself first by taking care of your mental health, you know, of your physical health, focusing on your goals, you know, always making sure that you are okay and how, and how your behavior affects others. Like, for example, I'm a mother. 
I actually had to learn that I have to put myself first before my child because if I don't put myself first, my child will not be okay. If I keep putting my, my child first immediately, she will not be okay if I'm not okay. 